this video, I'm gonna tell you how to beat every single mob boss in Minecraft. This took a while to make, so please, if you enjoyed any point, make sure to like, subscribe, share the video with a friend so my channel can grow. And the three bosses are Ender Dragon, Elder, Elder Guardian, and the Wither. In that exact order. So if you only want one to skip through the video. Other than that, enjoy the video. Oh, by the way, before the video starts, some people have asked me this. I have 100% in Minecraft. All of these achievements. All of this grinding. You don't really get much reward, but... Gratitude, I guess. Yeah, so I thought it would be a cool thing to share. And yeah. Uh, let's start the video. To find the Ender Dragon, what you need to do is get kill Endermen for Ender Pearls, trade with uh, uh, piglins, or trade with uh, villagers. To get this, get kill blaze to get blaze rod. Go into your crafting. You do that. You get a blaze powder. You do that. Gives you eye of ender. Throw it. it. Points you to the direction of the stronghold. I'm sure everyone knows how to do this, but just in case. For bedrock edition, I'm not sure what it is for Java, but at least for bedrock edition. Uh, I I tend to see strongholds found underneath villages. I'm I'm just gonna see if this theory is correct. It says over here. Yep, by a village. I I find it usually is. I don't know why they did that, but they did that. Oh, geez, I just killed a villager. Anyways, I'm sure everyone knows how to do this. Uh, once you enter the stronghold, look around for the portal room. After locating the stronghold, I only have two lines, which means what you need to do is grab Ender Eyes of Ender, which I cannot find. There they are. And fill all this in. Try not to grow them. This portal should appear. Probably should just throw the two. Jump in, but make sure it's one way screen. I spawn here for some reason. So I would build out and come here. Basically. Um things that might help you are obviously better armor, but slow falling potions. Like those things could help you so Especially on Bedrock Edition of the game, where when you come over here, I'm gonna grab a bow. No matter how hard you try, you could try doing this for hours. I'll even get up close. It won't go in. So you need some way to get down. And that's, uh, a way. Right here in the chest are the recommended tools for fighting the Ender Dragon. A diamond set of gear, diamond sword, iron pickaxe, bow, two stacks of arrows, three stacks of blocks, three slow falling potions that last four minutes, two shields, and a cooked pork chop. But my gear will be leather armor, uh, one stack of arrows, Two stacks of blocks, a water bucket, an iron pickaxe, bread, bow, iron sword. Oh, and by the way, you also need a water bucket here, just in case these run out. And one more thing about the Ender Dragon. Again, there, there is a th what I found helped me get better at fighting the Ender Dragon was I gave myself. Uh, that loot you saw there, and 
started taking away from it, like, uh, taking bread instead of steak, taking iron armor and iron sword, and then keep downgrading to leather and chainmail, all that stuff, until you got very minimal stock. That's what I found helped me. And you downgrade after you beat the Ender Dragon every time. But if I go into survival, and fight this thing, what you want to do is start chewing the crystals, because that's how the Ender Dragon heals. Make sure the Ender Dragon doesn't hit you, because um, that if it hits you, it's pretty bad. Don't look the Enderman in the eye. Or accidentally shoot at them. I tend to keep looking up. Do whatever you can to avoid it. Java edition. Just shoot the crystals. Destroy all of them. What I like doing. Is since I have to build up to these things anyways. What I usually do. Is come over to them. Hopefully not get slain by the under dragon. Shield, but remember, it destroys your shield. So you don't want to do it much. Uh, but anyways, come up here. Destroy this crystal. And then you can use this to get easy shots off. And I can't hit this. But remember, it's very dangerous since the Ender Dragon can knock you right off. I feel like this is bugged. Am I just missing it? Oh no, I'll just do these ones. When you see that fire disappear, that's when you know you hit it. I really don't want that dragon hit me right now. Anyways. Keep shooting at these. And hopefully actually hitting them. Practice your MLG water bucket in, by the way. Helps you uh, not die when you fall. I, I can't seem to hit these. I'm, I swear I'm hitting them. Don't kill me. My shield broke. That's why you practice your MLG water bucket in anyways. So, you saw, I just MLG for my light. I can pretty much MLG wherever I want. That's what's nice about practicing it. Jump off a high cliff. Ooh, I got it. Doesn't matter. As long as you know how to MLG water bucket every time. You won't take a single card of fall damage. Keep avoiding looking at them. And shoot at these things. The crystals. Until everyone's gone. Okay, I just got hit really quick. Bring up to this one. We'll build up. Sorry. Quickly destroy this and get the crystal. Shoot at the. Thing I can't hit. What about this one? Thank you. I please hit it. And I need to jump. So MLG water bucket down. Now that I got every single crystal, just need to kill the Ender Dragon. Okay, I don't want to die to that. 
god, that would have been embarrassing. You can also place a bed to un it melee or with my bow and arrows I mean you should bring a few bow and arrows in well one bow and a bunch of arrows in so when it's in this form you can kill it so, you finally kill the ender dragon allowing you to beat the game easiest uh, boss in Minecraft. Now let's get into the hard ones. This is where things get real tricky. What you want to do to find a water temple, ocean temple, sorry, is come over to and find a Photographer, this is the their uh, workbench. That's how you get one. The normal villager. Then you need to trade with him. So let me find where emeralds are. Give him whatever he desires. Okay, I need more emeralds. Okay. Um, that was quick. And then, he's got an Ocean Explorer map. Keep in mind that they can also trade you, uh, uh, Woodland Explorer maps. So, you might not get this one. So you give them the compass and the emeralds. And it gives you the map to go find it. Which is right there for us. Honestly, I just teleported 111111111 and I found it. So this villager does not need to live anymore. I can destroy all this and pretend it never is here. And first, I think it'll be a good idea to locate the Elder Guardians. First one, you'll find right here. Yep, just right there. So if I were to kill the thing, let me just go stabby stabby. Gives you all this stuff, which you can use for achievements. Then you want to go find the second one. Yeah, we're going to have to mine blocks. Try to get to more center. Which is more here, right? Yeah. The center. Which is where you will find your precious gold. Of which you would desire. So, I want to go mine that. Then I, yeah, right here is your second Elder Guardian. Go murder that. Give you some stuff. And the last one is found here. So it's, yeah, it was. It was on the right side, but just kind of leveled out with this thing. You go down, and you'll find this little guy. That's the third one. What you needed to defeat the ocean temple is Aquafindi, Death Strider, 
probably will help. I didn't put armor in because it's a force. It, this one's more of what you think you can do. And so you choose what armor you think you can handle. Okay. Then, uh, decent swords so you don't have to spend forever killing them. Uh, I cook four drops. Cobblestone. I would recommend Netherite Pickaxe Efficiency 5 because the mining fatigue, it takes forever. So you need to mine decently fast. Milk. So after you're done, you can get rid of the mining fatigue. Night vision and water breathing. Okay. And also this is a strategy. You want to keep uh, getting rid of their line of sight. Because that's how they attack. You usually mine this after. You can mine it now if you want. To show you how you do it. I'm not going to do it, but... Just come up here, mine it, then continue mining them. But I don't want to spend all day doing that. If you're not on anything, it'll take longer to mine things, so... If you're standing on something... Don't go off, because you'll mine way quicker on it. And at this point, that's all you want, speed when mining. Anyways, I'm gonna come to the top. Mine down. And this is where our first Elder Guardian is. He really wants me dead. Make sure to keep blocking your line of sight off. And then you'll kill it. Second one. You need to find the entrance, first of all. I believe that's a dolphin help me yet. Yeah. Make sure they don't hit you, because they can do quite a bit of damage. Oh, I just saw it. Right here. When you break in, you will find yourself. Your second Elder Guardian. Just keep breaking off your line of sight with it. And you'll be able to kill it easily. Okay, if that's running out, then I don't have much time with water breathing. Oh no, I do. Probably only got a three then. I remember it was lined up with this right here. So it should be here. Unless it's different per uh, temple. Now, there he is. Kill your last Elder Guardian. And you just killed every boss. Collect your sponge. Maybe even collect the Prismarine, or whichever one you need. Get the Monstrum in the achievement. And get right out of there. Never to return again. But this is why I recommend a milk bucket. Milk, uh... It's because after all this, drinking milk gets rid of your mining fatigue. You probably have to drink another water breathing potion, but believe me, it will be worth it. It feels so much better now. I can actually mine things. But yeah. While I eating the wither, this would be it. There's a lot of these potions. And you also need to organize your inventory. These are down here since this is in your offhand, you're wearing this so it doesn't count for inventory space. That's why I kept track. Basically, this fight, bring anything you can to help you. Because it is a really hard fight, and what is this? Drop this. I'm gonna set it to daytime, because... Why not? Settings. Survival. Pick up whatever you drop. You're gonna need to drop it for another second. There it is. Uh... Place this, and you're now in war. Remember, 
Rules of war. Do not back out when you already just started. That's a rule of war. Okay, I made a mistake. I didn't bring this in my inventory. I need a gapple. And then... Fight it! You'll do my damage. Try to avoid the hits. Oh gosh. Oh god. And I forgot to say, milk bucket. That is required. I'm gonna die because I didn't bring that. Too late now, but... A milk bucket? What that will allow you to do? Oh gosh. It will... Okay, it's hard to think, but... After you're done the fight, you're still gonna have the wither effect. You need to get rid of that as soon as possible. So you won't die. I do not wanna... Die. Okay, hitting those blue heads back. If they're blue, you can hit them back. So, it's a good idea to do it. Which I have been failing to do. Then, you wanna... Yeah, by the way, for most of this fight, you are gonna be taking the You're gonna tend to take a little more damage than you would prefer outside your comfort zone, whatever it might be. Like, I don't think there's a single time in the fight where I'm not gonna be taking damage from the wither effect. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So, after. Oh gosh. I want to heal. See, you burn the potion so fast. So that's why you want to bring some money. Now we're melee. Which is actually, I find it's easier. Especially since you can one tap these things. Because you do a whole bunch of damage. Well, I didn't have strength too, so I didn't have strength. But when you do strength too, especially with a crit, this thing is gonna be sad and not having a good day. But when you fail to do that, it's you that's not gonna have a good day. See, look at all that damage I just did. As soon as you notice one of your total of a nines break, immediately get another one on. It'll also uh, disactivate all your potion effects because you just died. Makes sense. You're gonna need to put more strength on, which I did not do. I'm gonna die soon, anyways. Uh, they notice that it broke. I immediately activate another one. Put strength on. Or apparently I lose it immediately. I need to get this back in my inventory. This is why I had the swiftness, but I failed to get in my inventory. So I'm trying to do that right now. I I just genuinely forgot to do it. Come on! Don't die! Don't die! I think it's over. I have to use it. Ah. Please. Yeah, it's just not gonna end. There we go, there we go, there we go. This is my last one. I need to make it count. And heal up as soon as I can. And I need to remember. As soon as I leave this one, there's no more safety. I want to bring more, but I'm trying to I'm not use that much, and my frame drive one. I, I. Oh wait, that's why I'm in melee. I completely forgot. Shoot, shoot. I'm crouched. Now I understand what was happening that whole time. 
Anyways, as long as you don't do that, you should be fine. Like that. I just killed the wither. And yeah, that's how you beat every single boss in Minecraft. As a 1.16.